G'day everyone, it's time to open some mail. I've had to come up here to the great outdoors because my shed is like an oven here in Wangaratta at the moment. The temperatures are terrible. Right now it's 9 o'clock in the morning and it's already about 28 or 29 degrees and going up. So I've come up to this spot, I'm on a hill, there is a breeze. I apologise for the background noise, but there is a breeze. Hey Robbie, you've got mail! You better check your mailbox! Okay, Robbie, thanks, mate. What's the address? Post Office Box 3006, Yoranga LPO, Wangaratta 3677. Okay, thanks, buddy. I'll go and check it right now. Right, yeah, a couple of bits of mail. One big one. <laughs> one heavy one. No Stanley knife. Next best thing, car keys. House keys, any keys. Alicia keys. Keys are actually pretty good for helping get into boxes. They work alright. <laughs> what a toy. I shouldn't shake this one too hard, it's worth a lot of money. It's a Canon 80D. A Canon EOS 80D. I've got a new DSLR camera. I've got to tell you though, I knew this one was coming. This didn't actually come from a fan. <laughs> this is fan mail. This is like a $1,500 camera that I didn't pay $1,500 for. That one, that mail, came from Allianz, my insurance. See, so last week, or a couple of weeks ago, I had a little bit of a mishap. My evaporative cooler uh, packed it in. Water ran down the walls inside the house and drowned one of my good digital SLR cameras. I actually got into the camera, the cupboard where I keep all my camera gear, but thankfully it only sort of stayed in one spot and it only killed my Canon EOS 70D. It killed it to the point that you just can't see the screen, everything looks like you're watching cartoons. So I made an insurance claim. The, uh, the message here for everybody is, is have insurance, always be insured. You can underinsure, you can overinsure as well, and I think I'm a little bit overinsured in some things, but that camera cost me 400 bucks. A $1,500 camera. The excess was $700, but I also claimed for a few other things that were damaged, some photo frames, a heap of books and stuff. Insurance isn't a bad thing, folks. 44 years old, I've never used it in my life, but I've always had it, and now I'm glad I had it, because now I've got a brand new Canon 80D, but I only paid 400 bucks for. Right, this is... This is the real mail time. Robbie Alexander, Post Office Box, 336, Rungard, LPA, blah, blah, blah. Right. Don't need the key for this one. What have we got here? Radioski. Oh, a leader. Hi Robbie, I have enjoyed your cod fishing tips on YouTube. I have been experimenting with hand furled leaders while fly fishing for bass down here at Blue Rock Lake. I had a few bust offs on my standard leaders, most likely from carp. Hopefully one day I will get the chance to fly fish for cod. I have included a 30 pound furled leader for you to try. It would be great if you could have a fish with it and give me some feedback on how it went. Cheers, Ray Throop. Right, hey, folks, thank you very much, Ray Throop. I have got here, attached to the letter, a furled leader. Now, you would have seen a while back there, I made a video about a furled leader that I got in my last, one of my recent mail times. That was a braided furled leader for trout. This is a monofilament furled leader for Murray Cod. Same design. It's a much heavier, handmade leader, made with Maxima Ultra Green fishing line. Oh, it just says Maxima Mono, but it looks like Ultra Green to me. Thank you very much, Wraith, for your furled leader. Now, to the bloke that made the, uh, the fly fishing furled leader the, with the braid, and to, to Ray, I apologise, it's taken me a while to get him into action. It's just been so hot. 
I can't go trout fishing at the moment. The water is too warm, the trout are stressed. If I catch a trout now, it's likely gonna die before it, even if I don't lift it out of the water. So I'm just leaving them alone a little bit in the hope they survive this harsh summer. As the weather cools down, I'll be doing more trout fishing. As the weather cools down, I'll be doing more of any kind of fishing, but at the moment it's just really, really poor. So hopefully we get a cool change soon. To put things into perspective, Wangaratta's average temperature for January is about 31 or 31.2 degrees, I think I read. So far this month our average is 37.2 degrees, today's forecast to be 41, tomorrow's forecast to be 45. So the average is going to go through the roof, it looks like being 6 degrees above average for the month. 6 degrees is a lot of heat, it might not seem like much but 6 degrees above average is quite a lot, it's been a shocker. Thankfully not every summer's this bad. Righto folks, thanks very much for watching my mail time, hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks very much Ray Threat for the field leader. Thanks very much, Allianz, for coming to the party and replacing my camera. Thanks very much to uh, thanks very much to Danny and the team at Wangaratta, Harvey Norman, for helping fill out the report to say that yes, it was damaged and I wasn't just a bullshit artist trying to get a free camera. All right, thanks. All right, folks, thanks very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, want to consider doing so, and I'll see you in the next video.